What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened. Today, we're going to take on the keep and show off some more runes. However, we are using the Squire rune, so we're going to be focusing on two things. First off is walls. We're going to be using the Spike Trap rune for spike blockades. And then additionally, we are going to bust out the Poonage. So Poison Tip Spears for the Harpoon Tower. Now with these walls, we're going to take advantage of some other runes to really reduce the amount of damage that these enemies can do. Uh, first off, we're going to be using Ensnare Auras, and we're going to use the Ensnare Aura rune, which reduces enemy damage by 25% while ensnared. Uh, additionally, we are going to throw in a, probably an explosive trap or two. Uh, for that, we're going to be using shell, shell shocked, pardon me. Enemies are slowed by 30% and deal 30% reduced damage for two seconds. On top of all that, we're going to be using a fused buff beam and then just a regular old vanilla strength drain aura. So let's go ahead and build it out. Now, uh, first things first, we're going to start off right here, but we know that copter ogres like to drop down behind now of course the spike blockade rune does dish out a nice bit of damage but it is frontal damage so it's only going to be shooting out towards the front so with that in mind we are going to throw in an additional spike blockade and we're going to turn it around um, by putting two down here any of the copter ogres that drop here that go to the walls will still take some of that damage now, of course, as I mentioned, we are going to want to use some Ensnare Aras. Let's drop an Ensnare, say, right uh, right here. And then we're going to want to use an Explosive Trap as well. Now, let's tie all this together with a regular old Fused Buff Beam. We'll go something like that, uh, making sure our Spike Blockades are getting the increased uh, Rifted Armor and all the goodies. Now we do want to make sure that this core is protected, so we're going to throw a 1D Reflect Beam there. We want to make sure ranged mobs are not having their way with our spike blockades, so we're going to throw a Reflect Beam here, and then additionally one across the front, say about like that. Now we're going to need something to bring in the power, and that's where we're busting out the poonage. So let's go ahead and drop, um, let, let me see, is my buff beam okay my buff beam is ruined overdrive so i don't want any more than three things so we've got two spike blockade or more than four things pardon me two spike blockades and a uh, explosive trap on that buff beam so we're good there uh let's go ahead and bring it on over here and we'll slap down three poons uh the poons of course have such a wide angle of fire that uh placement is not really a huge issue just uh, get them down there, point them over towards that away, and you're going to be good to go. So let's get one more in here, something like that. Uh, let's give it a buff beam as well. Let's see, can we get away with 3DU? I think so. Yeah, looking good. And then, of course, this area is going to need a little reflect beam action. That is for certain. So now we've got a little bit of DU left over for this side. What could I add in to make this just a little stronger? Well, we can throw a spider in. Uh, let's throw a spider like right down in front. Uh, I'm not going to put it on the buff beam, but I do want to get it behind the reflex. And then we'll head on over and check out this side. Now this side's going to require a little bit more DU. Let's go with uh, an snare aura. We'll get that explosive trap in. And then we're going to be throwing in two spike blockades. Now here they're going to be separate. So each one's going to need its own buff beam. So let's throw down uh, one buff beam, say, right here. Another right about there. Let's get a couple of reflex in here to protect these guys. Reflect beam is up get one more in over on this side looking good there and then we can get to the poonage so we're going to do the same thing here we'll just throw uh three harpoons up top uh we'll put those on a buff beam here and should be ggs let's see 
we got a, uh... Yeah, let's just go something like this. I think uh, we'll be fine here. I think these might be spread out a little bit too much. I'm probably not going to be able to do a 3DU. But let's try it out. Nah, 3 is going to be a little light. So we'll just go 4DU on this one. Uh, of course, I could have just placed those a little tighter and not had that issue. And then we'll get a reflect beam right in front. And now this side should be GG's as well. So now coming on over to the mid, uh, let's see, how do we want to do the middle? Let's get um, an ensnare aura, something like that. We'll get our spike blockades down. Oh, you know what? I forgot this whole time. The strength drain aura. My God, we can't go without the strength drain aura. So let's get a strength drain aura in uh, here. Let's get a strength drain in our in over here as well. That's definitely just a huge, huge added benefit getting that strength drain in. Can't believe I forgot it. What can you do? Let's see. Let's get uh, that and snare down. We'll get our strength drain down and then let's uh, wall it up. So we'll go with a spike blockade here. We'll go with another spike blockade right in front. Um, how are we looking there? I think we're looking pretty solid. Are we going to need one this way? I don't think we're going to need a spike blockade from this side. So let's just leave that side bare and we'll get some poonage down. Um, I think let's go right about here with the poons. Eh, let's go right in front. Let's just go right in front. Now the harpoons here with that crazy wide angle of fire, you can cover multiple lanes, which is quite nice. Uh, you know what? Do we? Where do we want them? Let's get this down a little bit further. We'll put it out to about right there. That'll give us a little more room for these poons here. So let's see, let's go one right there. We're gonna cover both lanes here. Let's get another one in, maybe. Right about there, once again, covering both lanes as well. Over here, we're going to put one down and this side, once again, covering two lanes. So we only get a partial bit of that front lane on this one. You do want to make sure you're covering that back side fully. Um, let's go one more. And then we've got two. We're just going to put straight down the middle just to make sure that nothing is having any issues pushing through the center there. So two right down the mid. Uh, now we've got six harpoons down. How do we want to do this? Well, we've got plenty of DU. So let's put these on their own buff beams. Wow, I really got this spread out, huh? Can we get it to, well, we can get it to five there. Let's put that one down. Let's put uh, that one down. And now each set of harpoons has their own buff beam for that increased power. Um, and then let's go ahead and throw down some explosive traps. Let's get one here and one here. And then we have, what, two buff beams and then some reflects to go. So let's go with a buff beam here. We'll get one here and then we will reflect this lane We'll reflect it right in the mid here. And then just to be safe, we will uh, reflect it kind of like that. Now, I am going to be popping portals here, but I'm going to DPS on my Squire. Uh, this is a spinning steel Squire, and we should be able to get the job done here. Now, I want to dump all of my upgrades really into the outsides, as uh, the outside lanes are where it's at. Oh, look, I got a spider over here, but I didn't put one on the other side. That's all right. I guess we'll uh, we'll only have one spider in the mix here. Throw a few upgrades on those poons. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw a few on these as well, and then um, then we will be able to try it out. Now I've done variations of this build on stream, but this is the first time doing this exact build, so bear with me here. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't end in a travesty. We will find out here shortly. All right, and then 500 left. We'll just slap that in, uh, just like right up here. There we go. Good enough. All right, let's let it fly and see how we can do. 
The poons should really just wreck the faces. They'll get a lot, a lot of damage in out there for sure. Um, the explosive traps are going to help a ton. And, I mean, I think we're just going to have a solid win here. And I am wanting to see an ogre on that wall. So I'm hoping uh, an ogre will push down. I want to see what's going on with the ogre smacking on the walls. Uh, of course, that rune for the spike blockade does give it a nice bit of damage output. Which is quite awesome, that is for sure. We got another one here. Let's see, what else are we going to have here? We got more portals popping. Just get these guys all knocked out. Ooh, we're taking a little core damage here. And you see, we see the ogres on the mini-map. Just wrecking. I think uh, that may have been a wyvern. Let's see, yep, yep, that was a rift wyvern. So getting a few more upgrades on those poons, and they should handle those flyer lanes a little bit better. Uh, just relying on the harpoons, basically, to kill the flyers, so I have nothing else really going there. These guys are dishing it out. Now, we'll take a look at the walls. Now, obviously, they're not getting a lot of action here. But they are definitely um, dishing out some pain. They're definitely getting some pain going. Uh, that, yeah, that ogre is going to be dead long before it makes it to the wall. So we can't get a good look on that one. Definitely looking good. I mean, the poons are uh, seriously underrated, I think, in the current meta. They're just really, really strong and usable on just about every map in the game so good stuff on the poons no doubt now obviously the long straight lanes since the harpoons do have that pierce uh, they're only going to benefit there let's go ahead and get uh, a couple of upgrades there we'll get an upgrade on that strength drain and one on that uh ensnare just because for a couple of upgrades on this stuff and then I think I need to focus on these harpoons over here. Uh, we still got the skellies, the non-stop skellies. Oh, yeah. If we get a few more upgrades on these poons over here, I think we'll have less issue with the flyers. We will see here. But let's, uh, let's hit that while we're here. Let's hit each of these items once. And then let's just dump into the poons here. All right, I think we are in pretty good shape. We'll get a couple of spider upgrades in as well. And uh, let it fly once again. Let's see, we can throw an upgrade right here too. Poons and explosive traps are just such a power combo, particularly if you're using walls. Uh, that shell shock rune for the explosive trap is quite helpful uh, when it comes to walls. That is for certain. Another portal over here. It looks like they're actually burning through most of the ogres, so not much is getting to the walls. I mean, the walls are there, so we've got that last resort, but there's not a whole lot getting into it, that's for sure. One more over here. And that ogre major runt there getting wrecked long before uh, can get to the spike blockade. I was hoping to really show the spike blockade off a little more here, but they're not getting as much action as I would like. Just because the poons are clearing so well. Ogre's even dying up top there. Wow. Yeah, they are just getting it. So the poons, of course, now they have that anti-clipping feature where if a harpoon has line of sight on an enemy, it will uh, go through the edge of terrain, whatever it needs to be to get to that enemy. So we don't have problems uh, anymore with the harpoons just getting stuck in the terrain as 
in the current state of the game, uh, the harpoons can get there. Now, they're not DSTs. They're not shooting through walls or anything. But if they do have line of sight, like, they're not going to get caught on this ledge or anything like that. Looking pretty darn good. Let's throw a couple of upgrades there. Yeah, I think this is going to end up being kind of a, a Lycan King Smackdown here. Is It's just going real well. Now, let's see. What took damage in there? I can't see quite what it was. And let's take a peek. Okay, zero damage dealt. So no copter rivers actually landed behind. So that ended up being a waste. You know what? I bet the tooltips might be bugged because there has to have been something up on one of those. Let's check over here. Now this one is showing damage dealt. So those on the other side, just nothing has made it to it. That's kind of surprising, but I mean, the harpoons are good. I just said right at the beginning of the video, I think they're a little underrated uh, in the community. It looks like they may be more than just a little underrated. They're uh, just doing incredible here. So let's go ahead and dump into this far lane over here this time and see if we can keep this up. Makes me wonder, did I need the spike blockades? Now, of course, the second I don't put the spike blockade in, then, of course, a short lane ogre or something is going to rush down and just ruin my day. So I'm happy that I've got them in there, but it almost feels like they weren't quite needed. Just continue to uh, make it happen here. Through wave 25. Wow. Yeah, it's just everything is just getting smoked. We should be able to get through the boss super fast as well. You know what? I'm going to leave this portal here because I want to, I want that wall to take some action. I want to see something hit that wall, dang it. We got copters coming now. Let's see if... The, no, the harpoons are just doing too good against the copters. I mean, they're just wrecking. Yeah, they're just on that copter way, way outside here. Is this one? No, that one's not going to make it either. It looks like even leaving this portal up, it's not really helping me too much. Oh, the power of the poons. That is for certain. They just absolutely shred it. Makes me wonder now, what if, what is that? That's three, that's four DU. That's eight DU right here. So I could have thrown another poon over here somewhere. Of course, then it wouldn't be getting the benefit of the super clock. Um, actually, you know, you can put four of them on it without losing. So we'd still gain something out of the deal. But I mean, these guys here are just annihilating right and boss time is here let's just go ahead and dump all the mana we collected into the inside lane uh, looks like that is gonna be about it and let's smack this boss right on the face here might as well get rid of this while we're here waiting and looks like all the portals are cleaned up we should be good to go nope oh, or not maybe not There we go. Now they should be all cleaned up, right? Lycan King has been smacked. Let's bring them on in. I want to put them right here where the poons can get some shots off. So the poons are uh, are hitting the Lycan King. Of course, I got my spinning steel going on them. And looking like GG's. So, oh yeah, the power poons are the real deal that is for sure so uh go get your harpoon rune y'all that bad boy drops uh where does that one drop 
That one drops in Act 4, so Foundries and Forges is its favorite map. Uh, should be an easy grinder for lots of folks out there uh, on the old Foundries and Forges, but it will drop anywhere, of course, in Act Number 4. Uh, let's check out the loot, see what kind of shinies we got. Uh, nothing exceptional there. How about our Arcanist Helm? Where are you, Arcanist? Oh, there it is, tucked in. Um, missing range, but not a terrible Arcanist Helm. We will uh, pick that bad boy up. And no love on the mask there. But that will do it for now. Just a look at the Power Poons once again in Dungeon Defenders Awakened. So uh, go get that Poon Rune, y'all. It just wrecks. Uh, thanks a ton, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy. Take it easy.